डॉक्टर बाबा साहेब आंबेडकर ओपन यूनिवर्सिटी हेलो फ्रेंड्स नमस्कार वेलकम टू डॉक्टर बाबा साहेब आंबेडकर ओपन यूनिवर्सिटीज वीडियो लेक्चर सीरीज आई डॉक्टर जैनी शाह असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर ऑफ इंग्लिश आई एम हेयर टुडे विथ अ वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग पीस ऑफ वर्क इट्स अ शॉर्ट स्टोरी विच इज एंटाइटल्ड ईव्स डायरी एंड इट इज रिटन बाय मार्क ट्वेन सो लेट इज हैव एन आइडिया दैट वॉट द वर्क इज ऑल अबाउट सो मार्क ट्वेन ऑन द राइट हैंड साइड यू कैन सी द पोर्ट्रेट ऑफ द मैन हिमसेल्फ his real name mark twain is the pen name and his real name is samuel langhorn clemens now he is regarded as one of the greatest writers of america of course an american writer he is a humorist and a lecturer also so uh, america has given him the title of the greatest humorist the us has produced and also known as the father of american literature so he is the he is one of the pioneer figures of american early american literature and he is regarded still as the father of american literature some of his popular well known famous literary works are his novel the adventures of tom sawyer it was published in the year 1876 it is about a young boy growing up along the mississippi river and it is said to have been modeled on twain as a boy so when mark twain was in his uh, childhood age he has reflected his own life in this novel but of course it's not an autobiography it's a novel which has elements modeled on twain's own childhood followed by in the year 1884 the novel entitled adventures of huckleberry finn also famously known as huck finn it is a sequel to tom sawyer and it is it it is regarded as one of the great american novels to have been ever written now it uses vernacular language friends vernacular language is everyday common person's language you know how you talk without any standard grammatical norms uh, the day to day language of american people of that time has been reflected in this novel and that is one of the elements which makes the novel the one of the great novels of american literature so apart from novels mark twain also wrote a lot of short stories he has numerous short stories to his account he also wrote essays and collection of essays non fiction also so his autobiography runs into three volumes mark twain has written his life in three volumes one volume that is each volume is over 736 pages so one of the volume is so long that it amounts to 736 pages so we can just imagine the caliber of a writer and how he portrays his life in letters so this is about a brief biography about mark twain now let us move further some of the short stories i have included over here because uh, we are dealing with one of his short story today so he has more than 100 short stories to his account and some of them are Uh, uh including the essays the first title is advice to little girls the celebrated jumping frog of calaveras county now look at the title the title itself is very interesting it is fascinating you know uh, the reader uh, is curious to know that what kind of a writing must have uh, culminated to this kind of title the celebrated jumping frog so this is mark twain for you now a dog's tale you know the stolen white elephant the war prayer so he has written on numerous uh, 
a range of topics not only limiting himself to say for example humor not only limiting himself to satire but uh, he has written on numerous topics which are related to human life that is mark twain for you he has given advices also and he has done a biting satire on the society of that time also moving further uh, coming to twain's writing style how his works are written so major characteristics that you find in mark twain's writings are you will find humor either his piece of writing is humorous or it is a biting social satire so he has both the talents to make you laugh and to make you think upon your beliefs your customs also so uh, the rituals which were not worth carrying forward they were written in such a way that the society in general the society was made to think that what wrong beliefs we are carrying forward with us and which should not be the case so he he used wit and sarcasm also in his writings his writings reflected realism of place and time so uh, as i said earlier that he used vernacular language the language of everyday common people you know so uh, that made his works relatable it was not his works were not only uh, written for the elite class for certain class of people who can relate it but his works were written for the masses uh, especially the novels like huckleberry finn and tom sawyer he has created some of the memorable characters in the form of tom sawyer and huck finn and his hatred for hypocrisy and oppression is reflected in most of his works now here all these characteristics here uh, i have taken an example from advice to youths is one of his essays and how humorously he he has a a rather jazzy take on giving you uh, giving advice to youths so it is not very preachy and very didactic in form but in a humorous way he has just twisted uh and he appeals to youth in a different manner so he says he it, it is written in the essay by mark twain uh, entitled advice to youth he says always obey your parents now is the first piece of advice twain gives in his satirical essay advice to youth written in the year 1882 however he immediately follows it with when they are present so you can read it as always obey your parents whenever they are present in front of you so it is a humorous take on uh, giving a piece of advice to youth of course uh, it it depends it is a subjective matter we should not take it literally but in humorous way he preaches the youths that you must obey your parents and you must pay heed to your parents advices so this is what uh, a major characteristic that you find in twain's writing moving further and coming to eve's diary beginning with adam and eve now friends in christian uh, ideology in christian beliefs in christian scriptures adam and eve are the first human beings of the world and uh, anyone who is a little bit familiar with uh, christianity christian thoughts christian beliefs would have come across uh, or would have certain know how of who adam and eve were adam the first man of the world of the universe and eve the first woman of the universe to have ever been created by god so it begins uh, uh, from the book of genesis that is genesis means the beginning point the very starting point so god creates the first act that god has done 
is to create Adam, a man, from dust and he places Adam in the Garden of Eden. Now, Garden of Eden is a paradise. It's a, a heaven in God's kingdom. Adam is told that he can eat freely of all the trees in the garden except for a tree of knowledge and the tree of good and evil. So Adam is free to find his ways but he is forbidden to eat an apple that is the, uh, the fruit which grows on the tree of knowledge and of good and evil. Knowledge of what? So not knowledge of good and evil. Okay. Now, after the creation of Adam, God creates Eve. How Eve is created? Eve is believed to be created from Adam's ribs. Uh, rib is a part of a body. And from Adam's ribs, Eve is created by God. And the purpose of uh, creation of Eve is that Adam must have some companion. So that is why God creates Eve. They are innocent and they are unembraced about their nakedness because they are yet to have the knowledge of their own identity, different identities as man and woman. A serpent, eventually it so happens that a serpent deceives or the serpent tempts Eve into eating fruit from the forbidden tree. Now they have, they had all their freedom, all their innocence. Uh, they were enjoying their stay in the Garden of Eden, uh, a paradise of God's kingdom. The only thing they were forbidden to do was to eat from the tree of knowledge and the fruit that the tree yielded. But it so happens that a serpent, that is a Satan in the form of a serpent, deceives Eve, tempts Eve into eating the fruit. And what happens next? Eve tastes the fruit and gives some of the fruit to Adam also. Now the very act of eating the fruit makes them lose their innocence and gives them the knowledge. The knowledge, with the knowledge comes the knowledge of shame, comes the knowledge of evil, bad, everything follows. Now the act of eating the forbidden fruit makes them disobey the God, the God's uh, the only rule that you are forbidden to eat the fruit. Now they break the promise, so they have disobeyed the God. And following which God banishes uh, them, banishes both Adam and Eve from the Garden of Eden and the great fall comes into their life and they became mortals so henceforth they were regarded as uh, the mortals the human beings who are uh, what we can say who are uh, prone to making uh, committing sins and the sin of adam and eve that is the act of disobeying the god by eating the fruit is considered the first and foremost sin to have been made by man and the woman. So this is the background story of what is there in the book of Genesis uh, in Christianity. So based on this uh, background, Mark Twain has created a short story uh, which is entitled Eve's Diary. Now Eve's Diary is very different from uh, Mark's other works such as novels and non-fiction and essay this is uh, somewhat we considered consider a fictional yet a personal account of uh, Twain's beliefs and how he looked upon Eve's di uh, Adam and Eve's life. Now he has, apart from Eve's diary, Mark Twain has written some other works also which are based on Adam and Eve's story. So it, it, it goes like this, uh, you can see the titles, Extracts from Adam's Diary, which was illustrated by Frederick Strothman. Strothman, sorry. Extracts from Adam's Diary, illustrated by Frederick Strothman in 1904. Then Eve's Diary, of course, that we are taking up today. 
and uh, Eve's diary was first published in the year 1905 so as early as 1905 more than 100 years uh, have passed Eve's diary was illustrated by that is it has pictures by Lester Ralph another work based on Adam and Eve is the private life of Adam and Eve being extracts from their diaries it was published in 1931 now eve's diary also created some controversy due to uh, the illustrations you know due to, due to the picture picturization of the story uh, it was considered controversial at that point of time so it uh, created some uh, disputes also so these are the works by Mark Twain based on the story of Adam and Eve. Now moving further, Eve's diary published in the year 1905, illustrated in the year 1906. It is written in the style of a diary. Why it is entitled Eve's diary? Because when you go through the work, it it is written in the form of a diary with divisions uh, made by different days, you know. So, why diary? Because it is kept by the first woman in the biblical creation story, Eve, and is claimed to be translated from the original manuscript. So, the, the journaling, we would say, or uh, the thoughts that Eve, the first woman that was created by God, how she looked upon Adam, how she perceived the Garden of Eden, everything she has put down in a diary and it is claimed to be, this work is claimed to be translated from the original manuscript uh, of the Christianity, the Christian scripture. So the plot of this story is the first person account of Eve, of course, because it's her diary and she has written uh, her experiences in that diary. So the plot of this story is the first person account is the first person account of Eve from her creation. So from the first, the very first day that she was created to her burial by her mate Adam. So each and every day has been accounted in her diary including meeting and getting to know Adam, also exploring the world around her in Garden of Eden. And the story then jumps 40 years into the future after the fall, that is after they have committed the scene and they were expelled, they were expelled from the Garden of Eden. Right? The book is believed to be written, now coming to uh, the work, Twain's work, Eve's diary is believed to be written as a posthumous love letter to Mark Twain's wife, Olivia Langdon Clemens, or Levy, as she was fondly called, who died in June 1904, just before the story was written. So, Eve's diary is modeled on Eve, but it is believed that Mark Twain has dedicated the work to his wife, or uh, uh, he has modeled the work in such a way that he is uh, writing a love letter to his own, to his wife. And uh, after uh, she died in 1904 and after that immediately he has written and got it uh, published. So it is due to the close, closely uh, uh, knit timeline and the content of the work Eve's Diary makes us think that he has dedicated it to his wife, right? Moving further. Now, how Eve's Diary is divided into different sections. So, the names of the days, it starts from Saturday, Sunday, Wednesday, Monday, next week, Sunday. You know, these are the sections that Eve has given in her diary or rather Mark Twain has given the sections in Eve's diary Saturday Sunday next week Sunday so there are no dates but this way it has been divided Wednesday Monday after the fall 40 years later 
and at eve's grave e at eve's grave is the last section of the diary so this is how um, of course there are many more sections but this i have taken just a few to give you an idea how the diary is divided into various sections now what is actually the content of the eve's diary it is eve's account and how it begins it starts when the first woman in the bible named eve is one day old she is just born and the very next day she starts writing her own experiences eve felt that she was just an experiment and nothing more right now in the beginning it is mentioned that uh, god created adam and from adam's ribs eve was created to be his companion so eve feels that she is nothing more than an experiment and maybe there is no other purpose of her uh, belongingness in the garden of eden side by side she was so curious about god's creations that surrounded in the garden of eden and all she did was to observe the moon the mountains the stars and being fascinated by them she also tries to reach the stars and she also tries to catch one of the stars to put in her hair as an embellishment that is what she does until she knew that you know she wanders her way around in the garden in the paradise until she comes to know that there is an another human being also who is adam and uh, she comes up with this idea that what she'll do now she'll follow adam wherever adam goes at first adam ignores her and uh, but she tries her best to get his scrutiny you know and she manages she, she successfully manages to get adam's attention then they became friends eventually and when adam ignores her eve seeks comfort with her so called sister now who is eve's sister if sister is nothing else but her own reflection in the water of the pool so she is amazed she is uh fascinated by all these things you know by the surroundings of the garden of eden by the lush green trees mountains moon stars skies flowers and her own reflection in the water and then adam catches her fantasy and she tries to become friends with adam moving further after that she then made some examinations or experiments with the fire now here unfortunately she accidentally sets fire all over the forest because she is experimenting and it goes wrong and she sets fire all over the forest and for her there there was an unusual discovery of fear you know it was the feeling of fear that he, she has experienced for the first time with the accident of fire again eve goes on long journeys long expeditions away from adam with her friends now who are her friends the animals you know uh, so she loses her own she loses her self in the forest in the animals in exploring what garden of eden has in store for her again being extremely curious about all she saw around her she was amazed by all the creation of god then her diary bounded forward to the future after they sinned against god that is the fall of the garden of eden now in uh, in the st uh, story that is the short story that we are talking about the exact account of uh, how the satan tempts eve to eat the fruit all that is not much explained upon but then the diary suddenly jumps to the fall of the garden fall from the garden of eden adam and eve became an affectionate couple and eve considered on the essence of her intimate love for adam now for, of course after they have committed the sin they uh, the knowledge of good and evil the, all the emotions you know the innocence is now not there it has been lost in the 
act. She determined that she loved him because he was hers and he was masculine. That is the knowledge of her body and that of Adam's body being different from hers. And all of that she determines that she loves Adam. The diary ended after 40 years later when Eve foresees her death. So the diary jumps after, uh, you know, to the scene which is occurring after 40 years from the fall and Eve has grown old and she foresees her death. Diary ends with Eve's contemplation, prayer and Adam's thoughts on Eve's grave. So Eve is the one who is to leave for the abode before Adam. And the diary, now this is the important section of diary when the diary uh, ends with Eve's prayers and what she feels for Adam. So that becomes the interesting part for us to know. Uh, okay. So, uh, these are the themes that, you know, until now we can uh, witness in the work Eve's Diary. That by Eve, giving Eve a voice, Twain, who was a supporter of women's suffrage, draws attention to women's struggle to have their contributions recognized. So, here also Twain has... Uh, stood firm to his characterization, to his uh, characteristics that he has given voice to Eve which was neglected upon until that time. And Eve's appreciation of the beauty of nature gives meaning to her often confusing existence. So how Eve has been portrayed in Eve's diary by Mark Twain makes a difference that she is curious about her own existence and she starts questioning, she starts thinking and also she appreciates the beauty of nature that is there around her. While Adam is portrayed to have been ignoring the importance of beauty to his eventual regret. And the theme of companionship that Eve finds herself drawn to Adam despite his many shortcomings he, as he offers her only chance for human connection. So Eve has only other human being as Adam and Adam is the only chance for companionship that Eve can seek from anyone because there were only two. One was Eve and the other was Adam. So these are the major themes. Now coming to the excerpt, you know, where it ends actually. And this is very interesting or rather significant part of the short story Eve's Diary. As I said, 40 years later at Eve's grave, this is the last section. And I would like to read it out to you. It's very simple. And it is a prayer of Eve. So Eve has written this. It is my prayer. It is my longing that we may pass from this life together. A longing which shall never perish from the earth, but shall have place in the heart of every wife that loves. Until the end of time, and it shall be called by my name. So she being the, uh, you know, representative of women's tribe or rather wives tribe you know the first woman Eve she says that it is my prayer and it is my longing that you and me that is me and my husband pass from this life together and it is not only my wish but it shall be the wish of every woman that follows me until the end of time until the end of the universe or God's creations but if one of us must go first i wish that we both pass from this life together but if one of uh, one of us must go first it is my prayer that it shall be i 
for he is strong i am weak i am not so necessary to him as he is to me life without him would not be life how could i endure it this prayer is also immortal and will not cease from being offered up while my race continues i am the first wife and in the last wife i shall be repeated i shall be repeated in the terms of my wish shall be repeated because every wife wishes that her husband lives long and if any one of them has to die first it should be the uh, it should be me that is the wife and not the husband of course this section uh, can be researched upon you know the argument the feminist from the feminist point of view from the womanist point of view from the humanist point of view can also be made from this uh, section that is uh, written by mark twain but the gist of it is that uh, or the bottom line we can say is eve has portrayed her love for adam the selfless unconditional love the bountiful love that she has for adam and she is assured that it is not only her wish but it shall continue as a wish uh, which will be made by every woman or every wife that is going to follow her and at eve's grave now here we come to know about adam's wish or what adam's uh, feelings were for eve now this happens for the first time because it's eve's diary eve has written from her own perspective but here we get adam's perspective also and what adam has to say at eve's grave after eve has died adam says wheresoever she was there was eden so here we come to know the equal amount of love that adam had for eve also that wheresoever she was there was paradise there was heaven there was garden of eden so with this two sections 40 years later before eve dies and at eve's grave what adam has to say mark twain has very beautifully portrayed the love that existed between adam and eve or rather he has idealized the kind of love that should be there in the couples in the husband and wife they were uh, going to follow after the first woman and the first man that god ever created so a beautiful piece eve's diary by mark twain mark twain has also written adam's diary now the brief gist of what adam's diary is all about it's a diary entry or the first person account of adam the first man the original man the diary begins with the arrival of eve into the garden and then the account of eating of apple and uh, being expelled from the garden the story then jumps 10 years into the future and adam is content with eve deciding that it's better to live outside the garden with her than living in the garden of eden without eve so it is also the you know account of love that adam has for eve right now before we end the session here are some of the questions that uh, you must answer discuss mark twain's works and style of writing as a uh, you know it has been discussed in the session write a summary of eve's diary and what is twain's purpose for writing this short story and also comment on the ending of eve's diary the ending of eve's diary is a very significant portion of the entire work so take these exercises and it will lead to you know questioning and even a better understanding of the content so here are some of the e resources links that you can go to for further reading of the eve's diary 
okay uh, of course read the primary source it is a short piece of writing and very interesting easily written so it will not be a difficult exercise to undertake so here it is uh, thank you very much for watching the video goodbye see you around next time thank you friends Smart, yeah, yeah,